Today, we're exploring how Buddhism's daily practices shape lives, offering insights into mindfulness, compassion, and community. Embarking on each day with meditation is not just a ceremonial act. It is a powerful declaration of intent and a commitment to cultivating presence in one's life. Incorporating this practice daily isn't merely habitual. It elevates life's every instant with engaging purposefulness. Initiating morning and evening meditations becomes a transformative endeavor, steering individuals toward heightened self-awareness and serenity. It epitomizes Buddhism's melding of spiritual discipline with day-to-day -day existence, turning the mundane into profound opportunities for awareness and connection. Activities such as eating, walking, or working transform into moments of mindfulness, enriching interactions with the present. In this way, Buddhism extends its teachings from quiet contemplation to all aspects of life, promoting an enriched, attentive, and meaningful daily existence. After exploring the depth of mindfulness and connection in Buddhism's embrace of daily meditation, we venture further into its core values with ahimsa, the guiding principle of nonviolence. This tenet profoundly shapes both the inner and outer realms of one's experience, influencing decisions, thoughts, and actions with a gentle strength. Ahimsa encourages not only the avoidance of harming others, but promotes actions filled with kindness, respect, and compassion for all beings. Opting for vegetarianism is a vivid exercise of ahimsa, a choice stemming from the desire to reduce suffering. This ethical commitment mirrors in supporting businesses that honor the sanctity of life, illustrating the principle's deep penetration into the fabric of daily routines. Ahimsa thus becomes a living philosophy, nurturing an existence marked by empathy and a conscious effort to preserve harmony in the world. From these fertile grounds of mindful living, we turn our attention to Anapanasati, also known as mindfulness of breathing, a foundational practice within Theravada Buddhism. Embarking on this practice through four tetrads, concentrating on the body, sensations, consciousness, and mental objects, offers a pathway to mental emancipation. This method is not just about breath, it's a journey through intricate layers of existence, fostering an understanding of life's transient, unsatisfactory, and selfless nature. Anapanasati dovetails with ahimsa, the embodiment of non-harm, influencing every action with awareness. This synergy illustrates how each decision, from our nourishment to our speech, becomes a reflection of our dedication to kindness and peace, illustrating a commitment to a life well-lived within a broader, interconnected world. Building on the foundation of mindfulness and compassion, Buddhism emphasizes the importance of right speech, which means communicating truthfully, with kindness and intentionally. This principle transcends simple avoidance of untruths or harmful language. It seeks to foster speech that connects, heals, and enriches our interactions. It advocates for awareness and improvement in how we express ourselves. Engaging in mindful listening and choosing words that promote unity demonstrates how right speech can transform challenging situations into avenues for positive and respectful exchange. This practice highlights the power of our words and the significance of mindful communication, ensuring our dialogue reflects Buddhism's core values and strengthens our relationships. Building on the principles of mindful living, chanting emerges as a vibrant strand in the fabric of Buddhism. It isn't merely an echo of ancient rites, but a resonating practice, marrying traditional insights with the cadence of contemporary existence. Particularly, the mantra Om Mani Padme Hum, along with the Heart Sutra, stands as pillars of mental transformation and profound comprehension. These chants go beyond simple recitation, acting as vehicles for enhancing concentration, easing stress, and promoting emotional equilibrium, advantages corroborated by current scientific understanding. Initiating with the rhythmic incantation of Om Mani Padme Hum invites mindfulness into daily routines. The illustration displayed here reflects the tranquil, absorbed state characteristic of such chanting activities, offering viewers a tangible connection to this disciplined and soothing practice. Moving seamlessly from the rhythm of chanting that knits traditional wisdom with today's life pace, we glide into the practice of upasatha observance. Rooted in the era of the Buddha, this tradition captures the essence of the spiritual intertwining with the universe's natural tempo through the phases of the moon 
capturing the essence of impermanence. Upasatha is more than solitary devotion. It's a communal venture that reinforces connections within the Buddhist fellowship. By adhering collectively to the eight precepts from the break of dawn to sundown, the group embarks on a quest for mental and behavioral purification. This shared endeavor fortifies the communal spirit, embeds a culture of mindfulness, and renews the collective pursuit towards enlightenment, showcasing Uposatha as a pivotal Buddhist sanctification practice. Transitioning from the Upasatha observance's spirit of community and renewal, we encounter Dana, embodying the profound practice of generosity within Buddhism. This principle advocates for sharing insight, support, and means as essential for spiritual development and strengthening communal bonds. Dana contrasts sharply with profit-centric economies, promoting a system based on joy, respect, and ecological balance. This tradition, especially evident in almsgiving, showcases Dana's role in Buddhist community life as a visible sign of interdependence and mutual caretaking. It elevates the act of giving to enhance the social fabric, demonstrating that true generosity fosters a compassionate and sustainable societal structure. Continuing from the vibrant threads of Buddhism's fabric woven by chanting and uposatha observance, we encounter a profound aspect that cements societal cohesion, the practice of earning merit through dana, sila, and bhavana. Dana, embodying generosity, moves beyond simple acts of charity, serving as an exercise in reducing self-centrism and fortifying social ties. It transforms sharing into an act of profound compassion. Sila, focusing on ethical conduct, especially through mindful communication, plants seeds of harmony and mutual respect. Bhavana, or mental cultivation through meditation, deepens understanding and nurtures peace within, which then illuminates our external behavior. These principles illustrate Buddhism's seamless integration of daily life into the spiritual path advocating that each deed, rooted in generosity, morality, and meditation, enhances both personal enlightenment and communal health. Transitioning from the vibrant interplay between personal enlightenment and communal well-being, we delve into the lay monastic relationship, a cornerstone of Buddhism's enduring legacy. This dynamic is a testament to the intricate weave of support with lay people partaking in traditions like the Kathina ceremony to fulfill monastic needs ranging from nourishment to material provisions. This exchange not only bolsters the monk's spiritual journey, but also offers lay practitioners avenues to accrue merit. Monastics reciprocate by imparting wisdom through teachings and guidance, nurturing the lay community's spiritual development. This reciprocal framework, exemplified by historical figures such as King Asoka, emphasizes the symbiotic harmony pivotal for Buddhism's growth and resilience. Through this mutual exchange, Buddhism demonstrates a profound integration of religious observance into the daily lives of its followers, showcasing a model of spiritual and communal flourishing. Building on the symbiosis between personal enlightenment and communal welfare, we turn our focus to the five precepts, ethical keystones of Buddhism that highlight their perpetual relevance. Valuing life now urges us to engage in environmental conservation, recognizing our duty to protect our earth. Honoring others' belongings has evolved to include intellectual property respect, appreciating the fruits of creativity. Upholding integrity in our interactions underscores the significance of consent, safeguarding personal sovereignty. Commitment to truthfulness demands meticulous fact-checking, ensuring our communications enhance collective insight. Imagine the simple act of returning a lost item, it illustrates these tenets, honoring property and embracing honesty. Mindfulness practices like meditation and journaling fortify our adherence to these values, proving Buddhism's enduring guidance in navigating the complexities of contemporary ethics. Ahimsa, the guiding principle of non-harm, invites us into a life of ethical mindfulness, inciting choices that forego injury and embrace sustainability. Drawing from history, Buddhist communities, especially within ancient Sri Lanka, established hospitals for humans and animals, exemplifying a deep-rooted dedication to compassion and a non-violent ethos. These institutions stand as a testament to the enduring influence of Ahimsa on societal frameworks, advocating care for all life forms indiscriminately. 
In today's context, the ethos of Ahimsa prompts us to evaluate our decisions critically, from selecting eco-friendly products to adopting diets that diminish suffering. Through adopting Ahimsa, we engage in a venerable tradition of conscientiousness, adeptly addressing modern ethical challenges with kindness, thereby extending Buddhism's legacy of serenity and benevolence through time.